Before I get started, I am joined by my colleagues, uh, Dustin and Cage. Uh, we work together uh, in helping our clients move their mainframe, uh, modernize uh, their mainframe workload to GCP. Uh, some credits before I get started. Uh, Ron, thank you for the opportunity. It, it's a great platform. And uh, I, I've heard uh, the presentations from Azure and AWS. Uh, uh, Bob Ellsworth, Larry were phenomenal as always. And uh, AWS presented the amazing content as well. Along with that, the uh, sponsors like uh, uh, Trend Micro, Nasuni, uh, it, it's just uh, fascinating to see all the new innovations that are happening in, in this space. Uh, with that said, uh, uh, first of all, I promise that uh, I will not bore you with many slides. Uh, just just a quick one. Uh, this is our motto, you know, why we are in this space. And uh, as our CEO, uh, TK, uh, we, we call Thomas Corinne TK, he says, the strategy is, is quite simple. Uh, we, we want our clients to help them adopt digital technologies. And there could be many reasons for that, either to lower costs, uh, grow the revenue, uh, cater to the customer needs, increase their, perform, uh, the, their experience. Uh, uh, but what we want to provide uh, as, a, as a vehicle to deliver the digital solutions. And that's, that's just what we want. Our, our strategy is more focused on to enhancing their business and thereby being a trusted advisor and partner in that journey. Now, in mainframe modernization, uh, typically there are two layers. One is the infrastructure layer, which is the Google Cloud uh, platform of the choice. And then we'll talk about the applications. Now, uh, if, if we come to why Google Cloud, and I think uh, there are many reasons, many answers, uh, but let's uh, touch base on a few. So first of all, security. And the security is in terms of security of data. Uh, and the many dimensions of that is uh, at Google Cloud, a uh, user has the complete autonomy and authority for their data. They choose who can access their data, uh, period. No one else but user has access to their data. Second, along with the encryption at rest, at motion, Google Cloud also encrypt the data at processing. So that's another layer of security. And then we come to the hardware. So uh, the network chip design hardware. So Google Cloud offers security at the, at the chip level, silicon level, not just at the hypervisor level. So it's a complete full control of the privacy and protection data in transit rest. And that is by default. I mean, it, it's not, by, by choice, it will just come if you're running your applications on Google Cloud. A second, uh, multi-cloud, uh, and you know, Google understands that there, there's no part of being cloud war or monopolized. Uh, the customer should have an option. Um, uh, it's it's uh, all the eggs should not be in one basket. So it's it's a part of the multi-cloud. So we have offerings like Anthos, which is which runs on multi-clouds, on-prem or cloud or, or hybrid environment. So you, you build once and you can run anywhere you want, access from everywhere. And that's uh, uh, how we built Google Cloud. Uh, leveraging the power of data. Um, and I think, uh, you know, it, needless to say, uh, Google, uh, the, uh, the analytics that we run, the information, wisdom, intelligence that we extract from the raw data, the insights that we extract is uh, uh, is uh, light years ahead of uh, uh, in, in terms of technology and the intelligence. So the the instant insights that, that we get as the data is migrated to Google Cloud is one of the cornerstone of the Google Cloud. Uh, industry leader in uh, artificial intelligence machine learning. Um, so, um, you yeah. <clears throat> know, Google is a pioneer uh, in uh, AI. Uh, recently, you may have heard about uh, AlphaFold. Uh, that is one of the Google company, product by Google company, DeepMind, that has uh, uh, deciphered the uh, many decades old problem, like uh, how the protein gets folded. So the, the investments that Google is continuously, continuously making into AI and ML is uh, it's just so fascinating to see, and the results that come out of it, it's just so amazing. Uh, 
one Google, and I think Ron, when, when you were introducing Google, uh, you mentioned uh, we have uh, at least nine products right now, which has uh, a billion users. So <clears throat> when, when customers run their application on Google Cloud, they become part of a larger Google system, which, which helps them amplify their business, not just running, providing a very robust platform on which they can run their application. So being part of a larger Google, which, uh, which gives them seamless integration with uh, say maps, search, ads, uh, YouTube, Android, uh, it, it's just amazing. So not only they get a better platform to run their applications, but it provides a, a, a very strong vehicle to amplify uh, and enhance their business. So what, what we define the modernization is, is to look at the 100x business enhancements and not just uh, uh, upgradation of technologies or upgradation of infrastructure that, that just comes along with it. All of these with commitment to sustainability, uh, Google Cloud is running on 100% renewable energy with zero carbon footprint. And as customers run their workload on Google, uh, they, they do their bit towards environment. And uh, you know there's also a, a financial benefits to it because there's a carbon credits that they can uh, work through it. And, and we have calculators to, uh, uh, to, to uh, assess that, you know, what could be the carbon uh, credits uh, customers are entitled to when they're running their workload onto the Google Cloud. Uh, and last but not the least, uh, lower operational expense. Uh, we've done some uh, benchmarking and the Google Cloud is significantly lower uh, as compared to running the applications on mainframe. But from our mind, the cost savings the, is just a byproduct, but the main uh, uh, proof of the pudding is, is, uh, is, is unleashing the power of data, running the application on a very secure, and reliable platform, which is also responsible towards environment. So that we talked about a <clears throat> bit of why Google Cloud. And now if you're moving to the application layer, uh, so this is what, what I put through is, I'm not going to explain in what is Gho's re platform or refactor. Uh, uh, I mean, um, Azure uh, team and AWS, they have very ably explained. These definitions have been there uh, for some time uh, and the meaning is still the same but what i'm trying to depict here is uh, as we as the mainframe modernization has been approached uh, at least i'm doing it for the last 15 years uh, uh, with uh, more than two decades of my career professional career uh, 15 years or so has been going into the mainframe modernization uh, so these uh, uh, rehost uh, re uh, refactor reimagine rewrite uh, the, the definitions are still the same, and the main term modernization has been traditionally approached as uh, infrastructure or uh, IT projects. But what it needs to be looked at is how is it helping business? Are we either just creating another mainframe on, on the newer platform, or we are helping customers grow their business? And that is what uh, we define as a North Star. Uh, before embarking onto the mainframe uh, modernization, we work with the customer to define their North Star, how one Google would help uh, leapfrog their uh, uh, business top end revenue, customer satisfaction, uh, and, and then we embark on the journey. And then there are multiple stages to get there, but the eye is always on the North Star. Now I'll just explain uh, one of the Google differentiator here, which is region extension and, and drawn uh, there have been several discussions that uh, a, a large scale mainframe modernization, the journey takes uh, at least, I mean, it's, it's a multi-year journey. It can take uh, anywhere from four to uh, five years. And in many cases, like I made years to, to rewrite TPF, it was 10 year plus journey. Now, during that journey, uh, a part of the workload would be running on mainframe and part, or part, of, the, part of the workload would be on your uh, cloud infrastructure. So. The, the main concern that customer get before embarking on the on such a long journey that what would be the performance drop if uh, if uh, with the distributed workload on the distributed infrastructure so google offer a, 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 a service like region extension uh, where we we host the client mainframe workload on 
Google data center, which is proximal uh, to the Google Cloud data center, and thereby offering a sub millisecond response time between mainframe and the Google Cloud. Uh, this takes care of not their future transformation, but the ongoing uh, transformation journey as well. And it also helps them uh, uh, exit out of their data center if, if that is the end goal that customer is looking into. And then we work with them to identify it could go on to a re-host, uh, re-platform using emulation or, or refactor leveraging. And that's what I'll talk about uh, a couple of slides down that Google has made uh, huge investments into uh, acquiring, building, refining, and integrating uh, a, a application transformation engine G4, which which uh, create which transforms your legacy application into more uh, Google integrated cloud native uh, source code uh, like like Java and, and other modern technologies, and that's our G platform. Uh, but regardless of the uh, hops and jumps, uh, the intent is to take a business-centric approach and go from mainframe to the North Star, which is a business amplification approach. Now, this is the journey map that we work with, with our clients. And uh, if you see on the first half of the uh, left side of this, this journey map, you know, we, we try to understand what are their business objectives, the uh, understanding of their environment. Uh, we, we create a, a sort of a applic application segmentation uh, a two by two map with them, which, which falls into the different uh, categories of solution. Uh, one size does not fit all, but at the same time, we identify which are the low hanging fruits, how they can get the uh, biggest bang for the buck towards the modernization, which is the system of uh, innovation record. And that's how we, we create a complete journey for them. And, and once we have that all that information, uh, that the client uh, can take multiple uh, tracks, uh, either it's retain or retire versus uh, re-hosting using emulation. Uh, and, and there's a multiple emulator, uh, which are partners, so MicroFocus, LZ Labs, uh, Raincode, uh, TMaxsoft, Heirloom Computing. Uh, refactoring with G4, which is our in-house proprietary uh, investments uh, uh, that, that we've made. Uh, it's a complete control that we have on the how uh, application should be uh, understood. Uh, it creates a hyper model. It's a model driven um, translation as opposed to traditional line by line translation. So uh, as a result that, that the application source, which is created, it, it retains the investments made, made into the current uh, legacy application, but completely into the new structure and manageable code. And that is uh, the beauty of uh, using G4. And then there's a reimagine that we identified as part of our uh, uh, portfolio assessment where uh, either you know the applications which are performing at the optimal level on mainframe, uh, so either we let it be on the mainframe or we we we, we innovate that application. We reimagine how it's working as opposed to uh, either just uh, uh, you know converting uh, through automated code or, or rehosting. So that's how our overall approach towards mainframe modernization is is run, uh, which is more business centric, which is more business amplify and infrastructure and uh, uh, and, and the IT or the application would be just part of the longer journey, but keeping always keeping business benefits and business objectives in, in view. Moving forward, uh, talking a little bit about uh, uh, Google G4, which is our main uh, differentiator. Uh, and, and I think, uh, yeah, we made some tall claims, uh, but I think we are the only cloud provider uh, who has uh, their own legacy modernization solution, uh, which is G4. Uh, it fits right between rehost and uh, reimagine uh, with a, a marginal, you know, I, I think uh, AWS has shown a chart which has uh, your uh, cost versus benefits spectrum where different approaches would fit. And the sweet spot was, uh, uh, emulation, uh, rehost, uh, and and refactor. 
So in, in with, with Google Propriety a G4, uh, it's it's a marginal increment of cost, but uh, exponential uh, increase in benefits that one can get from Google G4. Uh, it gets closer to reimagine, but at much faster and a lower price point. So you can get to the modern architecture, modern platform at, in a record time and a, and a lowest price point is what we offer from Google Proprietary. Uh, <clears throat> it, it's a true modernization on uh, multiple level uh, platform as we talked about uh, uh, so legacy uh, mainframe yes 400 to google cloud uh, technology uh, from cobol rpg to uh, java angular of sort uh, architecture uh, from monoliths to microservices uh, google g4 uh, helps you decompose your source code, uh, extract the tokens, and uh, helps you uh, break down your monolith, uh, monolith COBOL source code into, into the required microservices and organization. So because it keeps the uh, uh, tribal knowledge, business rules uh, uh, made into the COBOL intact, it helps the same workforce to, to manage the newer, new generated application in a seamless fashion. So it, it manages the risk, it manages the org change, it ma uh, amplifies the architecture and upgrades platform and technology. So it's a true modernization on multi-dimension. Uh, it's a partner enabled. Uh, Google believes in sharing knowledge. So we are uh, enabling all our uh, GSI as in the global system integrator partners and the regional SI onto Google uh, G4, uh, we are creating trainings, hands-on uh, labs, and enabling our partners to use G4 uh, to help our customers modernize their mainframe application. Uh, and it's a future proof as the application comes onto the Google Cloud, it can leverage other Google tools like uh, BigQuery, uh, AI ML, data analytics, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, so while we have invested in our uh, own IPs. We have also built a very rich partner ecosystem, uh, which includes both the service delivery partners and technology partners. Uh, we work with all the leading uh, resource providers. We work with all the uh, leading uh, uh, code translation companies uh, like uh, Advanced, uh, SML, uh, specifically for Assembler. Uh, Infinite Eye is for uh, AS400 uh, emulation. And all the, or at least most of the GSI, RSIs are a partner at different level. Uh, we work with uh, a TCS Infosys. We are enabling them, uh, working with them to, uh, to help eventually, uh, to eventually help our mainframe customer. So this is, I, I uh, run past you because A, I, I think uh, there's a, a short in time. Uh, overall, uh, I think we're running a little late and also want to give some time to, uh, to the audience if, if they have any questions and uh, we can make it more interactive and uh, discuss with them. Uh, and as I promised that uh, I will not uh, bore them with many slides. So this is the short and sweet pitch from Google side, uh, Google Cloud on mainframe modernization.